Our Land Fox rolling blackouts, high gas prices, an energy crisis, a serious business, but a valley man? He thinks it's a game, literally. And he's been trying to sell people on the idea since President Nixon. Keith Yaskin explains. Be under no illusions. This is a war. To get away with murder. If the energy crisis is about winners and losers... A valley man insists you test drive his game. He invented three decades ago. The consumer would benefit by it if they use one or two of the tips. Paul Murphy, once an average mechanic, but a man with extraordinary patience and persistence. So I've been working on it 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. A Peoria man who remembers the exact night 30 years ago when an idea turned into a still unfulfilled dream. You know, I've been thinking about a game about service stations. His board game about service stations was called Conservation. It tried to teach drivers about things like saving gas and rotating tires. You know, if you run the, your tires and the pressure is low, you're going to use more gas. Paul sold 2,500 copies in the 70s and saved the first dollar he ever made. 1971. But the game never left the shelf in terms of mass production. I'll put it to you this way. That game got us out of a lot of hard times. You know, with just the hope, you know, light at the end of the tunnel, you might want to say. You know, when we were raising six kids and uh, things were kind of tough for us. And that's when you realize right then, this is not simply about Paul's game, but all our individual dreams, big or small, and the people who believe in us through thick and thin. This is someday I'll go through. It'll come through. It's not for us, for our kids. Check. Paul's wife, Dottie, of 46 years. Her game isn't about strategy, it's about support. The game could go next week. You know, you just never know. And he goes all the way back. The game, there's four players, is now on CD-ROM, and now called Automotive Conservation. Ford allowed Paul to use its company logo. And now to the, the CD-ROM, when I saw that on the computer, that's when the tears just welled up my eyes and oh my goodness. Paul says he's already spent the money in his mind. Now hoping car dealerships will hand it out during test drives. In the back of my mind, I just someday that game's going to go. And it'll bail us out. It may, or it may not. But his wife Dottie believes when it comes to dreams, you win by merely playing. We had the persistence to follow through with it, and you followed through to the finished product. So you're a winner right there. Keith Yaskin, <laughs> Fox 10 News. Paul Murphy says Ford is still mulling over the game, but after working on it for 30 years, he says he's willing to sell it to any car 